I hope that this video will shift your perspective about what marketing really is, because you know, as well as I do, that without marketing, your business can't grow. But most of us dislike marketing. And hopefully what I'm about to share with you will shift your perspective about it. So instead of thinking, I need to get so many followers or a subscriber, email list subscribers in order to reach my business goals. Instead of that, I encourage you to think about how do I reach my 100 true fans? What's a true fan? A true fan is somebody who naturally, just by their constitution, enjoy who you are naturally. When you express yourself authentically, you put out this energy signature that is unique, truly, and that your true fan automatically senses as something real special. Your energy signature is not going to attract everybody. And by trying to attract everybody, you dilute the power of your energy signature so that even your true fans don't really sense who you are. But if you are willing to continually dive into your authentic expression, to practice, to explore, to try different things, and to sense more and more into what is authentically powerful for you, whether that's being loud or being quiet, right? Authentic power can mean a variety of things. It can mean that uh, some somebody is very colorful or somebody is relatively grayscale, but that's their authenticity. It doesn't, right? So the more you can explore, experiment, and empower your authentic expression, the stronger your energy signature is, which then attracts your true fans to you. Because even one true fan will then spread the word and your, spread your energy to others who are like them. And then your audience tends to start to grow. So imagine you had a hundred true fans. And what is a true fan? Again, someone who naturally enjoys who you are. And therefore, many of your true fans will purchase many of your products and your services. Not all true fans, but many of them will buy just about everything you sell out there. So if, if you had a hundred true fans, let's say, and each of them on average, you know, uh, paid you, uh, let's say, let's say you, um, have a group program and your group pro program is a hundred dollars a month. Okay. You've had a hundred true fans. They're buying your group program. That's a hundred thousand dollars a year, six figure income with a hundred true fans. Now, even your group program is $50. A month, or it's still a hundred dollars a month, but you have 50 of your true fans buy it. That's $50,000 a year, just about 60, something like, uh, $60,000 a year, right? So it's, you don't need a million TikTok followers or a hundred thousand Instagram followers. What we all really need as solopreneurs, particularly is those hundred people that we really care about, that we really get to understand. And dare I say, love them with our mind and our heart so that we really understand what delights them, what their needs are, what lights them up, essentially. So that as we get to know what lights them up, it'll naturally enlighten our minds and our content creation and putting our offers out there. It'll just naturally, the, the more you know your true fans, the more your offers and your content will be naturally aligned to what they want and need. And so it's a much saner approach to marketing. So what I mean by that is instead of saying, well, I gotta, I gotta perform, uh, in a way that makes me feel this uh, misaligned. I gotta perform in a way that gets a lot of followers. Right. Because then they'll get the 1% conversion or the 10% conversion. No. Instead, let me continually figure out more of what is my authentic power and express that so that I get my 100 true fans. Because those are the ones I really can care for. Start with one. Maybe you have one follower who's a true fan. Get to know that person. What really delights them? What are they struggling with? Especially regarding the kind of stuff you provide. 
What have they tried that hasn't worked? What do they think might work? Right. And what is the, you know, what, what, what is the product, the service that they would, would love for you to provide? Get to know them, get to know their wants and their needs. And the more you do, the more you'll naturally create things that are aligned for them. And then they will tell their friends who are likely to be just like them and they will tell their friends, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a much more truly heart-based way of doing business instead of the typical way of marketing that's all about getting traffic and learning persuasion psychology. Ridiculous. Because with your true fans, you don't need persuasion psychology. Who you are, your energy signature, and the fact that you care about them so much to know them, that's itself, that is, is in itself persuasive enough. There's no need to contort yourself into any shape other than what you're authentically powerful as for your true fans. You just need to start with one. Get to know that one person really well from your heart, from your mind, and then expand from there. Aim for your 100 true fans. You don't need, you don't need more than that. I mean, yeah, sure. You can go after you get to 100, fine. Then go for 200 true fans, 500 true fans. But as a solopreneur, you probably can't handle more than that, <laughs> right? You'll be well into the six figures income by then. So I hope that this is inspiring and shifts your perspective about marketing just a bit more towards the heart. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again.